So the, 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 key to, the key to racial proportions is that we got to lead with what's referenced first. So if it's on the left, it's going on top. On the bottom, going on the bottom. If they say pears to apples, then you put the number of pears on top and the number of apples on the bottom. If they say apples to pears, put the number of apples on top, number of pears on the bottom. If they say 100 to 400, if it's written like this, whatever's referenced first goes on top. Whatever's referenced second goes on bottom. That's the key, because you might set it up properly, but if you don't get the, I mean, you might, you might do the math right, but if you don't set it up properly, that's what will get you every time. Number four, if x to 7 equals 4 to 9, then x equals 4 times 7 divided by 9, number one. Good job, Miles. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, Brandon. If five to twelve equals c to three, then three times five or five times three, either way, divided by twelve is c. That's right. Three. Good job. Now let's get to the tough stuff. Word problems. Yeah, give yourself a hand. You guess. <laughs> you guess. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's get to the word problems here because this gets to the gist of what we're going to see on the GD. And I got to get <coughs> I got to get uh, Leanne up here <coughs> join us now. <coughs> word problem. <coughs> Proportion is a useful tool for solving many kinds of word problems. So now everything we've worked on tonight is a useful tool. The key to setting up a word problem is making sure that the amounts being compared are in the same position on either side of the equal sign. All right, let me read that again. The key to setting up a proportion is making sure that the amounts being compared. So if we're talking about apples to oranges, then on this side of the equal sign, we better be talking about apples oranges, or else it ain't equal. If we're talking about apples to oranges, and then over here we set it up as oranges to apples, what happens? We got it wrong. We got an answer wrong already. Can you cross here? Um, no, because it's not proportional. Because if you say apples to oranges, but then oranges to apples, then it's not proportional. It has to be apples to oranges, apples to oranges. Let's look at an example. But this is very key. Your stuff got to be right. It got to be like this. Right? Because if it ain't, the problem will get busted. If 12 yards of lumber cost $40, 12 yards of lumber to $40. This is the yards. And this is the dollars. How much do 30 yards of lumber cost? Where am I going to put my 30 on the other side of this proportion? On top, because I have to have it yards to dollars. Yards to unknown dollars. Right? If I put the 30 down here, what happens? Problem is busted. Can't do it. So that's what I'm saying. This whole thing here is key. Apples to oranges, apples to oranges. You've got to have one thing to the perfectly lined up to the other. So now we can say 40 times 30 is 1,200. Divided by 12 is 100. So it will be $100 for, 12, for 30 yards of lumber. Okay? Proportional. 